it's the end of an era. This is the final NLW 24-7 match to determine the final ever champion. 50 men, and only one can be the 24-7 champion. The 50-man Royal Rumble is going to be started by the Phenom, The Undertaker, a former 24-7 champion here. Of course, he was also the man that went right after Kazus Grokada at our last event. And how fitting is it that he's the first entrant in this 50-man Greatest Royal Rumble. But who is number two? Just keep on arriving! It's Sting! Sting is number two in the greatest Royal Rumble! Sting and The Undertaker face to face in the two year history of NLW 24-7 we've seen so many memorable moments so many legends colliding and here tonight the final NLW 24-7 is going to be kicked off by two incredible legends of the sport, Sting and The Undertaker. Remember, every minute or so, a new entrant will arrive in the ring. Elimination occurs with the thrown over the top rope. Both feet must hit the floor. Sting looking for the death drop early. And now The Undertaker going for the tombstone, but Sting pushes him free. And here's the Stinger Splash. And nearly eliminates The Undertaker, but he hangs on. The winner of this 50-man Royal Rumble will be the final ever NLW 24-7 champion. But who's number three in this Rumble? And it is the monstrous Goldberg with a spear. Goldberg, the second ever NLW 24-7 champion. And now wants it back as he hits the jackhammer on The Undertaker. And now Sting. Oh, but Sting leapfrogs over him. And now Sting has him held for the death drop. Now remember, folks, Kazushiro Okada is the current 24-7 champion. We don't know what entrant number he is, though. We'll have to wait and see. Could he be number four? We're about to find out. He's going to be... Oh, man. The seven-foot, 500-pound Andre the Giant. We've seen the destruction he's caused in NLW 24-7's history. He's gone on and faced the likes of Vader and Darby Allen. And now tonight, wants to cement his legacy by winning the 24-7 title. Look at the power. Lifting up Goldberg, but Goldberg drops down. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? A jackhammer. To Andre, but The Undertaker eliminating Goldberg. Goldberg will not be the final 24-7 champion. I will number five. And here comes the animal, Batista. And the Batista eliminates Andre. And remember last year, Batista had an incredible 24-7 title match against Kenny Omega at SummerSlam. And tonight wants to win that championship for the first time. Batista Bomb to Sting. The icon taken down. And Batista wailing away on The Undertaker. And if you're the champion Okada, you're going to be hoping that your number is not called after seeing all of these men beat the hell out of each other. And we're just adding more fuel to the fire with number six, the phenomenal AJ Styles. And 
the phenomenal forearm to Batista. AJ Styles, the man who Okada beat in an elevator to win the 24-7 title. And he still wants his championship back. Will he get it back tonight? Oh my! A choke slam from The Undertaker. Remember, it's the end of an era tonight. The final ever 24-7 show and the final NLW 24-7 match to determine the final ever champion. That is number seven. Going to be lucky number seven. The master of the 619, sure hope so. It's Rey Mysterio with a drop kick to Batista. And now Rey Mysterio with a 619 to Batista. Oh, but The Undertaker runs away, but Rey Mysterio with the Hurricane Runner and Undertaker very close to being eliminated there. And Sting went for the Sting a splash, but a fall off from AJ, and there goes Sting. That big forearm knocks out Sting. Number eight, who's it going to be? Well, it's a man who has not endeared himself to the NLW 24-7 fans. It's CM Punk. CM Punk, who has seemingly gone off the deep end since losing his title opportunity. Case in point, a low blow and throws out AJ. CM Punk failed to beat Okada in an Iron Man match at All Out. And then since has just decimated everyone in his way, including at our last event, Penultimate, where he beat Mankind in a grueling hardcore match and then went on to cost his former friend, Brian Danielson. Oh, wait a minute though. Oh, Punk nearly eliminated and you know that Brian Danielson will want his revenge on CM Punk, but meanwhile, number nine, it's Doink. Doink the Clown is number nine, and well, Batista's not laughing. And this is the clothesline. And Doink gets in behind him. Well, he's having a good hearty chuckle at the animal's expense. But here comes Ray. Arm drag. Arm drag. He just dragged the arm right off of Doink, but. Uh, more tricks. And a punch to Ray. Doink is having a hell of a time. Uh oh. Spoke too soon. Snatching his wig, and there goes Doink. Number 10 now. Who's it going to be? It's only the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Rip the hit my heart. The atomic drop to The Undertaker and goes right after Batista. Bret Hart, a man who on several occasions has come so close to winning the 24 7 title. A CM Punk gets DDT by Rey Mysterio. Bret Hart, of course, has had. Some incredible battles in his career. And now just another case of it tonight. And a GTS to Rey Mysterio. CM Punk not a liked man here. As we await the arrival of the next entrant. And it may be time for CM Punk to get a taste of his own medicine. Brian Danielson goes right after CM Punk. Danielson is not forgotten what happened at Penultimate when CM Punk cost Danielson the 24-7 championship. And Danielson through the second rope takes out CM Punk, but he's not eliminated, remember. Didn't go over the top. And Danielson trying to get revenge on CM Punk. His jealousy and... Oh, well, look at this. CM Punk picking apart Danielson just like he picked apart Mankind. Speaking of which... Well, it's not Mankind, but it is Cactus Jack. And Cactus with the barbed wire bat. 
another man who has been gunning for CM Punk here in NLW 24-7. And in the final NLW 24-7 match, wants to have his final opportunity for revenge as Cactus Jack making this rumble extreme. And Cactus wailing away on CM Punk. On the table. Oh, and a pile driver. And the table didn't break. But CM Punk's back may have. Cactus laying him out. And now number 13. Another former champion. The charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. What is Cactus Jack saying? Telling Jeff to go to the top of our stage here. What, what the hell is this? Oh my God! Swanton, 20 feet through the table. Jeff Hardy putting his body on the line. In the final opportunity, any of these men will have at that 24-7 title. Hardy wants the championship back. CM Punk wants to hold the gold for the first time. It's all about glory. But who's coming out next? Well, you've got to take chances. You've got to take higher risks. And nobody gets higher than RVD. Rob Van Dam with the monkey flip. Onto Rey Mysterio. Feeling some rolling thunder. He rolls better than the best of them. And the whole effing show wants to become the final effing champion. But a spear from Batista to Rob Van Dam. RVD. Got cut in half by Batista. He's firing up. Oh my God. Here comes the game. And the game. Back dropping Batista out of the ring. And you hear the reception from these fans. Triple H has been unstoppable in NLW 24-7. He's taken out the likes of Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks and more. And tonight, wants to win the championship, but Jeff Hardy with a whisper in the wind. Triple H and the click have made life hell on 24-7. But now getting some just desserts with a five-star frog splash. And now, number 16. Last year's Greatest Royal Rumble winner, the Macho Man, Randy Savage. And Randy Savage knows a thing or two about these matches after winning it last year. Can he do what no one else has done and win two Greatest Royal Rumble matches in a row? Rey Mysterio dropped at the top rope and eliminated by the Macho Man. Oh, but a massive clothesline from Cactus. Oh, and a sickening chair shot. Right off the skull of Cactus Jack. CM Punk back up. But maybe not for long. Here he comes. It's John Moxley. As Cactus Jack eliminated by CM Punk. And a huge clothesline from Mox. Macho Man caught with the Death Rider. Death Rider to Savage and meanwhile you see the ring now filling up with wrestlers. All of these guys trying to make history. Got that one last paycheck and that last chance of glory by being the, having the distinction rather, of being the final ever NLW 24-7 champion. An honour which only one man can have. Will it be our next entrant? Number 18. 
It's the champion, Chris Jericho. Jericho, a man who has had title gold come to him wherever he's been. Can he get it again tonight? Lion Salt to CM Punk. Jericho now going after his fellow Canadian in Bret Hart. The Undertaker choking out Marksley. Hardy looking for a twist of fate on RBD, but planted on the top rope. And RBD with a heel kick. Oh, but Jeff Hardy just about hangs on. But look out for Triple H. Close lining out RBD and Van Damme not going to win this matchup. Oh, and the lights out now. Well, here's the name I wasn't expecting. PCO. And choke slamming him on the trash can. PCO with a moonsault. Good God. He's not human. And he's showing that here tonight at the Greatest Royal Rumble. PCO. The swat on. My God. Nobody home though. And look at this Frankenstein's monster. He's back up on his feet, but not for long. Choke slam to the floor. My God. How oh, is he still stirring? PCO, that freak. He's been eliminated. Oh, well. I kind of suspected that this jackass would appear at some point. Number 20 is Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF. And the Undertaker wants him to come into the ring, but MJF, not in any hurry to face The Undertaker. And now the sneaky bastard sliding out of the ring. MJF. Going to come into this matchup on his own time. And what would you expect from someone like him? A slime ball. Just waiting on the outside. He's going to let all these men batter each other before he even thinks about stepping in that ring. I can't say I'll blame him right now. Oh boy, oh boy, Max, you better run! Because here comes Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Texas Rattlesnake wailing on MJF. And ready to stomp a mud hole in him. Stone Cold here. Wait a minute. Oh my. The RKO. Randy Orton. The hell is he doing? It's not his number yet. And another RKO. Remember, folks, it was Stone Cold who embarrassed Randy Orton and beat him in that stretcher match all those months ago. At one night stand, and Orton clearly hasn't forgotten about it. And now Stone Cold is being tended to by medical professionals here as Randy Orton may have ended Stone Cold's ambition to become champion. But the match keeps going. And now, perhaps the most dominant 24 7 champion ever. Big Van Vader is here. Catching Bret Hart in midair. And throws out the Hitman. With authority. Big clothesline to Jericho. Who can stop the Mastodon? I don't think anyone can. Again, remember the men that this man's beaten. The likes of Kenny Omega, Hiroshi Tanahashi, Shinsuke Nakamura to name a few. He is a vicious, violent beast and who's going to be able to stop him? Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Because here comes the ring general, Gunther. And now 
Gunter and Vader fighting in the middle of the ring and a power bomb. Gunter remember the historic elimination chamber which he won to become champion, beating the Fiend. But look at this MJF sliding in behind and eliminating both Vader and Gunter. And it's a damn shame it had to end for these men like it did. But that's just the way that MGF does business. That's how he won the 24-7 after all. How he won the 24-7 title. And I hope the next guy gives MGF an ass kick in and... Well, who better than... The man who played B.A. Barakas. Mr. T. But a fun to the eye from MJF. Tell you what, everyone wants to get involved. And oh, wait a minute. Mr. T. Has eliminated MJF. Thanks from help from Chris Jericho. Mr. T eliminated MJF. And wait a minute. Wardlow? Wardlow's not in this matchup. A Triple H eliminating Jericho. And now MGF instructed Wardlow to attack Jericho. Jericho's in trouble on the outside. Meanwhile, our next entrant, the seven foot tall, 500 pound giant the Big Show. Where's Jake Hayden? Sammy Guevara? The Inner Circle. Meanwhile, Mr. T firing shots on the Big Show to no effect. And now on the outside, we've got members of the Inner Circle and the Pinnacle fighting in a big brawl on the outside. And now Mr. T thrown onto the melee. Big Show ridding the match of Mr. T and a show-stopping chokeslam to Brian Danielson. It's going to be a tough time lifting that man over the top. Now the most electrifying man in sports entertainment trying to be the one to slay the giant is the rock. The people's elbow. Clothesline sends out Moxley. Rock bottom to Randy Savage. The Rock was the runner-up in the first Greatest Royal Rumble. And now maybe eliminated before he even has a chance to make it that far, but The Rock fighting The Undertaker here. A couple of big shots in the corner. Well, I'll tell you what, the stars are letting up. Number 27, another former champion, the Radar Superstar Edge. And Edge, now gonna try and eliminate Big Show. Oh, Big Show though. Oh, stays on the apron, the speared. And Edge has somehow, someway, managed to eliminate the Big Show. Oh, but he's not happy about it. And why would you be? Meanwhile, Edge going after the Rock. Oh, whoa, whoa. Well, I'll tell you what, no one's safe from an angry giant. The Big Show's going to have to deal with it. We've got another entrant coming. Who is it? It's the five time, five time, five time, five time, five time WCW champion. With a bookend. Oh man, are we going to see it? Yes, we are. Spinner Rooney from Booker T. And the scissors kick to The Undertaker. Booker. Oh my. I would run if I were him. But CM Punk catches out The Undertaker. Undertaker is eliminated. This crowd is not happy about it, but CM Punk has eliminated the dead man. 
And now, um, the next entrant, who's it going to be? I mean, oh, wait a minute. Punk, you might want to turn around, mate. Oh, no. And Dexter Loomis, the next entrant, has CM Punk in his clutches. CM Punk going to sleep. How long has Loomis been under there anyway? I don't suppose it matters for CM Punk, but... Uh-oh. Well, I remember both men went under the bottom rope and apparently under the ring, so... They're still in it, technically. Well, I don't want to know what's going on underneath that ring right now. Ooh. That Loomis guy gives me the creeps. And speaking of... Well, no. I'm not going to say it, but... Hulk Hogan... He's about to give some of the people in this match the creeps. Hulk Hogan, another former champion. And the Mega Powers patching up their differences. Or maybe not. Hogan eliminating Randy Savage. And well, a mixed reaction for Hogan here tonight. After all, we know the dastardly things that Hollywood Hogan has done in NLW 24-7. But how about this for a matchup? The Rock and Hogan face to face. But Edge from behind. And Hogan awaiting number 31. And it's the American hero, Kurt Angle. Remember last year, Hogan and Angle had a match at New Year's Revolution, which Angle won, but Hogan has not forgotten about it. Continuing their rivalry from NLW 24-7 history, and Hogan, the Angle Slam had no effect. And the big boots, we know what's coming next. Trump's the big leg. Well, I'll tell you what, Hogan has Hulkamania running through his veins. Can anybody stop it right now? Oh dear. That's all I'm going to say. It's the monster of all monsters. Bull Strowman for Hogan. Lifts him up. Oh, but his back gave out. And Strowman slams out Hogan. Braun Strowman eliminates Hulk Hogan and delivers a running power slam to Edge. And look at the strength. Shoving the rock almost out of the ring. But Angle from behind. And a German suplex of the 400 pounder. Good lord. That takes incredible core strength to lift a man his size. Uh-oh. Well, I have a feeling Kurt Angle may be taken to Suplex City, courtesy of the former NLW 24-7 champion, Brock Lesnar. Lifted Braun for a 400 pound F5. And taken out Strowman. Strowman taken out by Lesnar who delivers a snap belly to belly across the ring to the game oh here's CM Punk CM Punk finally getting away and Dexter Loomis reappears but oh well this man going to reappear as well after what he did earlier it's Randy Orton at number 34 and an RKO to the Beast and an RKO to Edge. Randy Orton with an RKO spree catching Punk in midair. And here comes Loomis. Orton got to watch out but Orton elbows him and eliminates Dexter Loomis. And Randy Orton, he's already taken out Stone Cold. We may not see Stone Cold for the rest of this matchup. But now Orton 
an official entrant. Well, who's the next man? And well, bro, it's Matt Riddle, who's number 35, and goes right after Booker T. Power bomb and the knee. And what a combination this is. And Riddle with the RKO. And all of eliminating Kurt Angle. Seems as though RK Bro have reunited here. And RK Bro here in the Royal Rumble. And Randy Orton with the RKO. Remember, never trust a Viper. It's Eddie Guerrero! And Booker T running at Orton! The oh. back dropped onto the low rider! Smashing the windscreen! And now Randy Orton rolling under the bottom rope to go after Eddie Guerrero and... Oh, look at this! Eddie Guerrero, he had his title contract torn up now gonna wait whoa what the hell it's Austin Austin was hiding waiting in the trunk of that low rider and he's back to surprise Orton and now Austin gonna drive out with the carcass of Randy Orton in that trunk meanwhile number 37 he can't catch a breath with this thing. It's the ultimate warrior. And on a frenzy. Big splash to Danielson. Warrior. Quiet up here. Over the rock from behind. And there goes the warrior. Didn't even have a chance to take off his jacket. And this is what I'm talking about. The Rock and Stone Cold face to face. Oh, wait, the light's out now. Oh my God. It's The Fiend. The Fiend, the man who is synonymous with NLW 24-7. Taking out Riddle with ease. and grabbing Hardy for the sister Abigail. But a frog splash from Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero with a, oh my God. And the feed right back up. This guy's a freak of nature. This man beat The Undertaker inside Hell in a Cell to win the 24-7 Championship last year and wants to be the final ever champion as he eliminates The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. The Fiend taken out by the Black Mass. Look out for Danielson with another Black Mass. Another Cape Rana but caught out. And CM Punk with a knee. Malachi Black. Oh man, a stunner. Stone Cold with a stunner to CM Punk. And now number 40. Is the Hurricane, the superhero. Go on there goes the Hurricane. Wait a minute. The Hurricane eliminated. to be a record surely well there he came and there he went hopefully he can help someone else in need I suppose it was nice to see him
Oh, it's nice to see it, Edge! Belly to belly over the top, Edge eliminated by Lesnar. And now number 41, ready to burn it down in this Royal Rumble. It's the architect, Seth Rollins. Lesnar holds him. Rollins, though, lands on his feet and delivers the super kick. Drake in gold. Will he get more gold by the end of this matchup? Curve stop to Triple H suggests he might. Another man who has held the 24 7 championship before. And a man who, right now, looking to make history, as are all the competitors in this matchup. CM Punk driving the knee into Triple H. And number 42, ready to make their way to the ring. And it's Austin Theory. Austin Theory dropping black over his knee. And this is the greatest Royal Rumble. This is no time for a selfie. Uh-oh. Smacking the phone right out of his hand and throwing out Austin Fury. Take a selfie of that. But Jeff Hardy with a drop kick. The field is getting even bigger. Lesnar, meanwhile, delivering shots to the ribs and kidneys of Danielson. Number 43 is next. Will they make a difference in this matchup? And another giant. MVP is manager accompanying Omos. And lifting up Hardy. Oh my God! Powerbomb through the announce table. Eliminating Hardy. Omos is a, an absolute machine in that ring. MVP directing traffic. Almost. Destroying everything in his path. It's going to take a miracle to get him over the top. I'll tell you that right now. Who's got the power to do it? Maybe. Some diesel power. Diesel with a big boot to a boss and powers him over the top. Diesel not making friends in this matchup, eliminating Omos and now going after Austin. Jackknife powerbomb and the Rock and Triple H reigniting their legendary rivalry. Diesel going after Rollins. Now number 45. Bobby Lashley, the almighty, with an almighty spear to the Beast Incarnate. And hands around Brian and throws him across the ring like a sack of potatoes. And the dominator to Eddie Guerrero. Taking out Malachi Black. Oh no, in the hurt lock. Can Diesel escape the hurt lock? He's struggling. But now he uses his own momentum to throw him out, and Diesel eliminated by Ashley. Meanwhile, Austin taking his frustration out on Lesnar. And number 46. It's the showstopper, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, the man who won the first ever 50-man greatest Royal Rumble two years ago. And now tonight, wants to win again. And once again become 24-7 champion. He's eliminated Lashley, he's eliminated Malachi Black, and now him and Triple H going to continue their reign of terror on NLW 24-7. 
Sweet chin music and the game is gone. And that's what Michael thinks of their alliance. It's every man for himself and Shawn Michaels knows this. And I'll tell you what, no one knows Royal Rumbles better than our next entry. Is Kofi Kingston representing the New Day and there is Trouble in Paradise. Stomping in the chest of Danielson. And Kofi running at Austin but thrown over the top. Oh my god. You okay? Right in front of me here. What was that? Alright, hang on. Here. Oh. That's alright, man. Kofi off the top. Hey, I'm happy to help, mate. Well, Kofi using me as a springboard, and uh, well, we wondered when he would show his face. But at number 48, here is the NLW 24 7 champion, Kazushka Okada, unbeaten. And wants to make history by retaining his championship here tonight in the Greatest Royal Rumble. And the Rainmaker eliminates Stone Cold. Kazushka Okada, who's put away every challenger in his way. On well, the curb storm caught out. Who's out Seth Rollins? Remember, Okada's beating CM Punk, AJ Styles, and that man, Brian Danielson. But they can't reignite their rivalry because here comes the advocate, the wise man, Paul Heyman, with his client. Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief, and number 49 with a Superman punch to Kazushka Okada. And Roman Reigns with a spear to Shawn Michaels. Roman Reigns, another man who has held that 24-7 title before and wants it back. And he's going to have to go for his own family if he wants it. And now The Rock and Roman Reigns blasted him out in the Greatest Royal Rumble. And the close line, and there goes The Rock. Roman Reigns eliminates The Rock and the People's Champion having to acknowledge his tribal chief, but who is number 50? is John Cena the 50th man and now everybody has entered one of these men in the ring will be the 24-7 champion when all is said and done and the five knuckle shuffle and you adjustment coming maybe no let's know with the strength of the German suplex my god And Eddie Guerrero goes after Lesnar, but caught out. F5 into a DDT. Stunning the beast. And a Busaiku knee eliminating Raw Lesnar. Danielson gets rid of the beast. And Lesnar is fuming. But from behind, Okada. Get rid of Danielson. Danielson snuck up on and Okada gets rid of him but Cena with the attitude adjustment to the 24-7 champion and now Shawn Michaels lands on his feet in the sweet chin music sweet chin music to Cena but oh GTS coming no Michaels pushes him free sweet chin music no reversed over the top and Shawn Michaels is gone Shawn Michaels eliminated from the Greatest Royal Rumble. 
And now it's come down to this. Okada and Punk. Their feud, legendary. And GTS cut it though. Rainmaker maybe. Ducks the Rainmaker. And one of ways throws him out, but CM Punk holds on. Now for the Rainmaker on Roman Reigns. But a spit from Roman. And now John Cena taking out the Tribal Chief. Cena eliminates Reigns, and we're down to four. John Cena, Eddie Guerrero, because it's Gro Connor and CM Punk, who is winning the final NLW 24 7 Greatest Royal Rumble. Eddie with a brain buster on Punk. Cena looking for the AA to eliminate Okada, and he may get it. But Okada holds on. Cena after Okada. But backdrop over and Cena's gone. Okada eliminates Cena. Cena is devastated, but we're down to three. Or maybe two. There goes Eddie. And CM Punk. Dropped on the top rope, but he hangs on. And Okada with a drop kick. There goes CM Punk. And Okada. Has Okada done it? Wait a minute, no, I think I think Eddie's still there. And now we're down to two. Eddie, Okada, one of these men gonna become 24-7 champion. Eddie wants to be the champion for the first time in his career. Okada wants to go out on top and retain the championship. But there is a drop kick from Okada. Okada tore up Eddie Guerrero's money in the bank contract way in front of him. But Eddie getting his revenge. The DDT. Eddie on top. Latino Heat. But the frog splash but the knees are up. Rainmaker no rolls through. And the cross body both men fall over, but both men hang on. Oh man, the first one to drop is gonna lose. A suplex, no. And Okada, oh my god. Two stone on the apron, maybe. No! Eddie! Eddie eliminates Okada! Okada has lost the 24 7 championship. And Eddie Guerrero is the last man standing. Wait! RKO! Randy Orton was never eliminated. He was in the trunk of Eddie's car. And now that RKO. May have stolen it. Randy Orton shocking the world. Wait! Eddie Guerrero! Eddie's done it! Eddie's won! Eddie Guerrero is the 24-7 champion at long last! Since coming short against Okada one year ago at SummerSlam from winning money in the bank, not once, but twice, and both times having the opportunity taken away from him. Tonight, Eddie Guerrero has finally conquered his demons and won the championship which has eluded him. And what a fitting end, eliminating Okada. It looked as though Randy Orton might sneak in. However, Eddie Guerrero took care of him. And now, we have a new champion. Our final ever champion, Eddie Guerrero. Thank you to everyone who has made an LW 24 7 what it is today. It's the end of an era, but it's an era that's capped off by Latino Heat as your champion.